Solving trigonometric equations, question 3. Determine approximate solutions to the nearest hundredth radian for cos x minus half equals to 0, where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. Now, whenever you have this kind of a question, you know approximate solutions means you need to use your calculator and here your special triangles are not going to help you. Now, second part is that when you look at the equation, you can try to solve it and put it in this order. It is cos x minus half equals to zero, then we can do it as cos x is actually equals to half. Now, we got cos x equals to half and we need to find the angle x for which cos x is half and that should give you the solution of this trigonometric equation. Now, how many solutions do you expect? For that, let's make our cost rule. Let's look into our cost rule. Cost rule says that in our quadrants, cos is positive in two places, quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So these are the two places where cos is positive. Now that means we are expecting two solutions. So one solution is a related acute angle alpha right so one answer is angle alpha the other answer is 2 pi minus alpha correct so so one answer is angle alpha and the second is 2 pi minus alpha so these are the two solutions which we are looking for right since cos value of half could be in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4 correct so let's use a calculator and find what x is. So x is equals to cos inverse of half. And remember to change the mode of the calculator so that you get your answer straight in radians, right? So we'll do, so we are in radians now, cos inverse bracket half, one divided by two or 0.5, and we get 1.0719. So we'll write this as 1.070419 so it is 1 1.0419 now we need to round it to 100 that means this position right so this could be written as equal to 1.05 approximately so that's what it is now the second answer is 2 pi minus 1.05 so we say 2 times pi minus 1.04719. So use four digits, okay? And the so that means we get two solutions. And let me write those solutions as alpha is one solution, which is 1.057, and the other solution is 2 pi minus alpha. So it is 2 pi minus 1.04719 which is equal to 5.2359. Since we have to round to the 100th radian, that means this place, we'll write this answer as 5.24, correct? So these are two solutions for our equations. We can write solution is, when we write solution, we're trying to write the primary angle. Remember, is x equals to 1.05 and both are approximate or x is equal to 5.24 correct so these are the two solutions right so you'll see that the solutions the angle will be here that's the first and this one is the second correct and our solution the principal angle one is this which is 1.05 radians and the other one is this which is 5.24 radians. When we don't write any units, radians is understood. But since we are just beginning with this, it's good to write radians, right? So radians and radians. That's the unit, okay? So that is how you're going to solve these questions. Okay, thank you.